Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, C Panda Crafts. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I've just really been spending time with my family and my kids and trying to learn how to homeschool and just getting used to and adapting to this new way of life for us. So I've been spending a lot of time with them, but I have been working on some DIYs and kind of sprucing up my patio to make it a little bit more inviting and relaxing for my family. It was pretty dull and boring before, but I decided to brighten it up using a lot of Dollar Tree items and things around my house just to make this space more inviting and more relaxing for my family. And I did most of these DIYs right here on the patio while, while watching my kids play in their little pool. Um, so yeah, I hope this inspires you guys to maybe um, decorate or do some DIYs for your space, whether big or small. If you live in an apartment, you have a little balcony. Um, these are just some ideas that you can do to um, redesign your space. For this wall, I really wanted to have some hanging shelves or shelving to display some decorative items. So my husband cut three boards from some scrap wood that we had from a previous project and he cut them at four feet by eight inches and he originally cut three and I painted them white but I decided I didn't want three shelves I thought it was too much for that space so I ended up only using two for the shelves however I did use the last board and I made a patio sign which I did film I used my Cricut to make a stencil and then I painted the sign and for some reason I accidentally deleted that footage so I was not able to include it in this video. Next it was time to drill the holes in the board so I just took a measuring tape and marked an inch from the side and bottom on each board making four holes, two on each side, and I used a spade drill bit that was a little bit wider than the Dollar Tree nautical rope. Next, I used two of the Dollar Tree nautical ropes, one per side, and I started by threading it through the top of the first board, down through the bottom, and then under, and then up to the second board on top, and then I pulled the line taut. And it helps if you have someone else helping you with this project, it's just a little bit easier. But I basically, to make the first shelf stay from falling down all the way to the bottom, all I did was take that rope and wrap it around the side and then back up. I did the same thing to the other side, but just use a measuring tape to try to get that first shelf as even as possible, but we end up using a level to adjust it later. I found these hooks in our garage, so I just had my husband measure and install them to where I wanted the shelves to hang. We tied knots to join the two pieces of rope at the top on each side, and then we just used a level to make adjustments to make sure that our shelving was level. To hang by the sides of the shelves, I decided to take these metal sconces that I purchased at a garage sale last year, and they've just been sitting in my garage ever since, and I just spray painted them white with this chalked Rust-Oleum white paint, and I just thought they looked beautiful hanging next to the shelves and all the decorations. It just really gives it like this elegant and charming look. And to decorate the shelves, I just used some canvas um, Dollar Tree pictures, as well as some DIYs that I've done in the past, like the wine bottle. And then I actually painted that little basket with the picture in it that used to be blue, and I painted it white to make it look a little bit more um, shabby chic and to kind of fill that gap in the shelves. And then I just decorated with other things like real plants and the little bunny, and I just love how this turned out. For the wall in between the two chairs, I decided to take some Dollar Tree mirrors that I've had in my closet for about six months and make kind of like a farmhouse shabby chic mirror. I've made something very similar to this um, a couple years ago for inside my house where I use, actually I use poster board. Um, however, I would not recommend using poster board outside making a mirror with poster board outside because weather and humidity and everything will warp that poster board and it's not going to last. If it's inside your house, that's fine. But I decided to use a piece of wood just to make it last longer and just a lot of E6000 glue. You do not want to use hot glue. It is not strong enough. 
So I here I'm just taking that E6000 and kind of making a square and an X and I'm lining up those mirrors vertically. And I had my husband cut the board about an inch shorter than the length of all the mirrors so I could attach the garden fence. Then I take some Waverly white chalk paint and begin painting all of the frames. And I find it easier to do it this way than taking all of the mirrors out and then just painting the frame and then having to go back and put them back in. It's just a lot easier this way. And honestly, I don't mind getting a little bit of paint on the mirrors. I think it adds to that shabby chic look. And I can go ahead and just remove any excess paint that I don't want on the mirrors with nail polish later. I also didn't completely coat each frame. I wanted a little bit of that gold to pop through. And then I just let this dry overnight and cure before I lifted it up vertically. For the mirror, I also took a Dollar Tree garden fence and painted it with that same white Waverly chalk paint and then let that dry it overnight as well. The next day after the E6000 between the mirrors and the board had cured and the paint was dry, I took that garden fence and began snapping off the bottom pieces that normally go into the ground. And then I just took my scissors and cut off the excess piece of garden fence to make sure that it fit and aligned with the top of my mirror. To attach the garden fence piece to the mirror, I just had my mirror propped up on a chair facing me and I just took my hot glue gun and began going in sections and placing that hot glue directly to the back of the mirror sitting on top of that piece of wood. And to hang it, I used this galvanized steel wire rated for 55 pounds and used some screws to attach it to the back of the board. And here's how it turned out. I think it really brings the space together with the two chairs and makes it kind of like a romantic setting. I really wanted to make some sort of like serving tray to put drinks or maybe a candle on for underneath that mirror in between those two chairs. So I took this hexagon tray or shelf that I think I got from the Target dollar spot a long time ago and it's just been kind of sitting in my closet so I took some of that Dollar Tree contact paper and the really pretty floral design and I just traced around and cut that out and stuck it down inside the tray and I did need to trim it up a bit to get it to fit inside so I just took a pencil and marked where I needed to trim off the excess next I took some of this Dollar Tree decorative rope and I believe this is a newer item I'd never seen it before um, at Dollar Tree in the years that I've been shopping there so I recently picked this up and I started by cutting out two small pieces to make handles on each end and then gluing hot gluing them down to the side handles were attached I just started wrapping that rope all the way around the sides of the tray making sure to cover up where the handles were attached and I just hot glued it all the way around project was so easy and simple and I just love how it looks sitting on my little plant stand. So the next project was this little bench which was in desperate need of some new paint and a facelift so we decided to paint it white and there's a couple of reasons um, why I'm using white so much in these DIYs and videos and that's because that's what I had on hand and I didn't have to go out and buy anything and then two we have a, just a lot of um, browns and greens and the walls were gray so I just really wanted to brighten the space and white is the perfect color to do that so we just decided to kind of tackle this project as a family and um, my daughter was really 
adamant about helping painting this bench. So she went ahead and joined us. And I just think it like makes the space so much more welcoming and inviting. And even like the greenery and all of my succulents behind um, the bench are just, they just look more vibrant and bright. And I just love how this project turned out. It was so easy and simple to do. Um, it just took a little bit of effort and painting and I'm not really one that likes to paint furniture or walls at all, but it really helps when you have the family involved. So I just went ahead and added some cute little pillows from, um, I believe the Walmart garden section that I purchased a while back and then some little books and I layered it with this little Dollar Tree rug. And I just, I love this space so much. It's probably my favorite out of the whole patio. So I decided this corner with the water feature just needed a little bit more attention and TLC. So I took this canvas banner piece that was actually in the Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day. Um, and you can kind of see it says, follow your heart on it. So I decided to try to paint over that to cover it up and I'm actually using a Dollar Tree paint kit, paint and rolling kit. I wouldn't suggest using this Dollar Tree kit on a wall or anything, but for small projects, it works fine. And I ended up doing two coats of white chalk paint and I recommend possibly doing three or more just because when the light does hit it, you can kind of still see that outline. After the paint had mostly dried, I took the Dollar Tree poster board or poster letter stickers and some um, wall decals from the Dollar Tree and I spelled out stay a while with like the little um, branch detail at the bottom and I just didn't like the way that it that a while looked I think the W kind of threw it off because it was like spread so far apart so I decided to reuse some of those letters and um, spell out relax and I just I think that I liked that a lot more because it just kind of reminded me um, that this is my place the patio is my place to relax so once I got those all adjusted and as straight as I could I went ahead and used some Mod Podge and I put a couple of coats on there and let that dry overnight as well and once those dried um, those letters were nice and dried on I took some of this Krylon um, spray this is non yellowing and it just helps protect it from um, the Sun and just fading over time and changing color and then I just hung it up on a Dollar Tree garden flag holder and as you can see I repotted um, one of my plants in a Dollar Tree planter as well as put in some Dollar Tree garden fences around the back of that retaining wall. And so that's it for this patio makeover. I love how this turned out. It's so cozy and I love hanging out here with my family and just relaxing, maybe reading a book. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell or if you can spot um, a bunch of different Dollar Tree items in this video. I love using placemats, rugs, and everything from the Dollar Tree um, just to add extra interest, texture, and um, layers to my decor. So it's very easy to do and budget friendly. So I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't currently subscribed, I hope you'll click that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. And until my next video, I hope you all are staying safe and finding things to do to keep your mind preoccupied. And until my next one, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching. Bye.